so I just got back from Colorado and when I was there, I took a ton of awesome photos. So for a while now, you know, the workflow from the moment you snap a photo till when you upload it to Instagram, that, that, that workflow, that process you go through, I feel like a lot of people do it very differently, which is totally okay. Okay, Kevin, what do I do now from sitting on my computer, opening up you know, my SD card file to getting it on my phone uh, and uploading it? And I'm gonna show you, in my opinion, the best way to do that. So, let's do it. Okay, so once I put my SD card in, I'm gonna go over here to file, import photos and video. Say I wanna see, I wanna import this photo. So I'll go ahead and I'll import it. And the first thing I'll do is I'll open up the develop tab. And right here, crop overlay, or you can press R on the keyboard, and it brings up the crop. So on help.instagram.com's page, um, it says right here, the image can have a height between 566, 1350 pixels with a width of 1080 pixels. And so essentially, 1350 is the maximum amount of pixels to fit in the height, and then 1080 for the width. It doesn't get any bigger than that, and it's in the ratio of four to five. And under aspect is where this is really important. So you're gonna click original and then come down here to four by five and it's going to constrain the image as you can tell it's four width five height so this entire photo is exactly what's going to be on instagram so once i get this down to the crop that i like i'll hit done and i'll go ahead and i'll do any sort of editing that i normally do for photos So once I'm done with the edit, I'll go to File, Export. And when I export, I wanna make sure it's to a specific folder. You can choose whichever folder you'd like on your computer. File naming, I don't really bother with. Video, I don't bother with. File settings, just make sure it's on JPEG and the color space is standard RGB. And then the quality, make sure it's set to 100. And then image sizing, this has to do with the aspect ratio. You can resize to fit to the short edge. And we know the short edge is 1080 pixels because that's a maximum width that Instagram allows you to use uh, on their platform. And the resolution of this image will like it to be 300 pixels per inch. Assuming everyone's using a smartphone, we're gonna do glossy paper. So that's what we're, glossy paper, as you could imagine like an iPhone or an Android, it's like a shiny surface. So glossy paper sharpening uh, amount, just a low amount. And nothing for metadata, nothing for watermarking and post-processing. I'll just have it show up in my Explorer. That way when I go to export it, it shows up in my folder and I can double click, make sure it looks good, be happy with it. And then I'm done. And you're probably wondering, Kevin, how are you possibly done? How do you get it on your phone? Well, let me tell you how you get it on your phone. I need to get my phone first. <sighs> okay, the rest of this is done with my phone uh, now. But in order to set that up, what you need to do is download something called Backup and Sync. Google. Download backup and sync to your computer and you essentially choose a file on your computer and then on your phone, if you download Google Photos, it's an app in the App Store. Google Photos, you can link Google Photos to this folder on your computer, assuming you're using a PC. And so what I just exported showed up right here. And once, once you go through that process of connecting your Google Photos to your backup and sync, you can just click that bottom left cursor on the screen and click save image. 
Now when I go to the photos on my phone, you look here, here's the photo. Then I go to Instagram, and it's important that you zoom all the way out. And you can also accomplish that by hitting this, this button on the bottom left. And now we know that this is a four by five aspect ratio. We don't need to do any editing, so we just hit next. And then we can write out whatever you would need to write out and post it. Um, it's really as easy as that. And the thing I like about it is when I'm scrolling through my Instagram as people kind of scroll like down a news feed, it takes up a lot of the screen. Now that I've set this up, it's a huge relief. Um, it makes my life so much easier. It makes uploading Instagram a lot easier and I enjoy it more. So it's a win-win. I uh, hope this is helpful for, for anyone out there. Um, if you know, if you're still watching, please subscribe to my channel. Um, the more folks, I guess, who express an interest in this kind of stuff. I'd love to make more videos for you guys in the future. But for now, have a great night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!